everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm coming at you with another install video of a new product I picked up it's called a stiffler bar so let me bring you over here and I'll show you what this thing is basically that's it it's a frame stiffening bar and there's the hardware now when you get it you really I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell on camera but I semi it's got a real real light semi polish on it it does not come this shiny it comes like real dull like that so that's got a semi polish on it I'll eventually get in there and do a hardcore polish but for right now that's gonna have to do so this should be a relatively quick install simple anybody can do it I mean if you got a stretch this is only for people with stretch bikes um, so let me go ahead and show you guys what this is all about and we'll jump right into it all right now I think I'm gonna have to remove my one of my the rear flame frame splitter for this thing to actually work, which kind of kind of stinks, but I'll figure something out with this. I definitely want to run some kind of frame splitter for sure. But if I have to take it off temporarily for now, then that's what I'm gonna do. So you need to remove your your main frame bolts so I'm only gonna do one at a time because obviously I don't want the bike to fall apart so we'll start with this side that washer all right you're definitely gonna want to put Loctite on the bolts 100% definitely don't want these bolts coming loose I don't know if this has to be these ends are adjustable so I'll have to see if I need to adjust anything or anything. We'll see. And it definitely looks like they're gonna have to be adjusted a little bit and turned out both ways. One is reverse thread, one side is reverse thread. And 
this bolt that comes with this kit is a number eight bolt. I got this piece from the rough shop. It's like $50. Swing to the other side. Don't lose the washer. So it actually has to be adjusted out a good amount. Forget your Loctite, very important. Especially on these bolts, definitely don't want these bolts coming loose. on the other side, of course, did I? Yep. I should be able to tighten this bolt from over here. Make sure you tighten these ones down good and tight. Hold your frame together. And it's got some, it's got some nuts on the ends. So you get it to where it needs to be. Then you got to go back and tighten these nuts. I might be able to put this over it, but yeah, I could probably put that over it. The loom's got to go now. I'll have to do that over. But in a nutshell. That's pretty much it guys let me show you what this what this bar looks like from a couple different angles it's supposed to keep your frame rigid from side to side so that's it's a cool looking piece so you got your bar your frame brace here and it keeps it stiff from front to back and then that's supposed to keep the frame from twisting side to side and it looks cool but when your bike gets almost complete this is what you got to do all down to these little 
final touches I'm running out of stuff to do here um, but yeah it's a real easy project quick anybody can do it and that's about it I want to thank all you guys for watching I want to thank all my subscribers appreciate all you guys for coming back and checking me out staying with me as the channel grows um, I am gonna be making decals soon and I'll put out a video for that and people who comment you know I'll throw you guys a free decal that'll be coming soon probably when I hit 150 subscribers I think I got like 141 now so when I get a few more I'll create a logo and ship you guys out some stickers but until next time appreciate you guys watching thanks again please subscribe comment and like and i will catch you guys the next time peace